Good day. So the question is, what are the best natural remedies for sleep? Um, Dr. Peterman, what do you think about that? Well, I think it comes down to mostly behavior. Now, a lot of people take melatonin, and that has some effect on this. But if you're not sleeping, there may be a lot of reasons for that. We need to kind of look a little bit at those reasons, because a lot of people will will go and they'll have sleep studies and they'll try to figure out why is this happening. And it may come down to allergies. It may come down to uh, eating the wrong foods. Somebody uh, once told me they said it felt like they had, you know, swallowed a uh, bowling ball because they ate something. In it. Well, obviously, they were either eating too much or they were allergic to what they ate. And they said they were sick for three days. Well, maybe you ate bad food. You know, those things can keep you from sleeping. Uh, some people drink way too much liquid too late in the evening and their sleep's interrupted, especially older men. If they drink too much uh, liquid uh, prior to, say, four hours before they go to sleep, then they're interrupted in their sleep to go down the hall. It just happens. And the system doesn't work really well for them. Sleep remedies? Uh, what is your stress level? What do you do for a living? What what are what what is your surroundings? Uh, do you live with a bunch of teenagers who are up till two in the morning playing loud music? I mean, there are so many reasons why people may be sleep deprived. Maybe they live next door to somebody who doesn't have any any common decency to respect their neighbor's uh, you know solitude a little bit who knows but if you really want to try to sleep there's several things that i always point out i said are you hydrated enough because if you're sleeping and you don't have enough liquid in your system uh you of course as i said you can have too much but if you don't have proper amount of liquid that's one half of your body weight in ounces during the day you're not going to have the proper blood volume or lymph volume to remove a lot of the toxins. And if after the second or third or fourth day, you're uh, dehydrated and the toxins accumulate, you may have restless legs. You may have uh, uh, a lot of problems. It may start itching or Lord knows what will keep you awake. Or you may become very... Uh, sensitive to sound, something that might just wake you up. There's another problem is that you may not think this is true, but one of the most serious problems in sleep is deprivation of proper nutrients. There are a number of nutrients that if you don't have them in your system, uh, your ability to sleep properly is impaired. Now, how do you know? What would you do? We go to the doctor and get a blood test? Nope, that's not going to tell you anything. It's not going to tell you anything. What you need to do is get a REAMS test, R E A M S, REAMS test, and that you would go to a naturopathic doctor. And the reason for that is that, uh, okay, I ask people, do you take this or take that supplementation? Oh, yeah, I take all this, I take that. Well, I'll do a REAMS test for them to determine pH. Are they too alkaline or too acidic? And it's not blood. It's done with urine and it's done with saliva. Now, if the people are way off the scale, there is a whole list of various nutrients and elements that are completely excluded from their body's ability to absorb those nutrients. They may be very conscientious people who are literally living to go down to the uh, health food store and buy everything that they can that's that's good. The problem is if they are too alkalinic or too acidic, they can take all of that stuff they want and there is very, very little absorption in their bodies. So if you don't absorb the material properly, doesn't matter if you take it, it can't be used. The chemistry is off. So the body goes, sorry, I guess I throw that away because I don't know what to do with it. So it throws it out. 
Okay, so you don't get selenium, you don't get chromium, you don't get uh, molybdenum, you don't get uh, uh, various other elements. You may not get certain vitamins. You have a high chance of not getting iodine. Iodine requires you to have a very, very normal pH. If it's off, you're not going to get that. So what do you do? You try to go get, if you really have bad sleep problems, you know, try to correct some of the stress in your life first. And go to bed on time. People have sleep difficulties because they'll go to bed at 8 o'clock one night and 11 o'clock the next night. Maybe they'll stay up and they saw this really great movie and it finishes at 1. And then the next night they try to go to bed at 8 or 9 o'clock and their body's going, what, what do I do? It's whiplashing back and forth and no understanding of circadian rhythms. Circadian rhythms are what tells the body to do what when. Uh, when do I digest my food? When do I uh, kick in the repair procedures for during sleep? When do I go into REM, a rapid eye movement sleep, so I can dream? There are people I've talked to, I haven't dreamed in years, and, they, and they're just... They're just chaotic. They're almost manic. They're, it's like this person is kind of nuts because they don't have that uh, psychological uh, uh, ability to, to uh, calm the brain because sleep is also necessary for moving material from the frontal cortex to the permanent memory. There's a lot of things that have to be done, sorted out doesn't happen. So all of that adding up can cause somebody to really get really off on sleep. And I've had a lot of people walk in and say, well, I need this pill. I, I don't sleep. I need a pill. Mm, no, that's not the way it works. So now we need to talk. And I find out they're hooked on video poker or they, uh, they love to drink a drink of Coke at, you know, nine o'clock at night. And then they toss and turn. They can't, they can't figure out why. They never put two and two together. Or at four o'clock in the afternoon, they had a uh, energy drink because they're going to have to go and, uh, and, and give a presentation somewhere and they want to be up for it. Well, that's enough caffeine to keep you up two days. I mean, it's five cups of coffee at least in some of these energy drinks and massive amounts of sugar, which... One direction, you're being pulled way up in the sky. In the other direction, you're being thrown to the ground hard when the sugar is finally metabolized. You're going to have a sugar crash. Well, in the body, it's kind of weird when you're, you're pulled up really, really high with caffeine, but you have absolutely no energy, no sugar to keep you going because it's metabolized. Well, the caffeine doesn't go away very quickly, so that's... That's pulling the body in two directions, and that's destructive. So remedies for sleep require you to uh, really examine your own behavior first. That's the first thing. And if you really can't get any results that way, try to find a nature path. Try to find somebody who can give you a Reams test and find out your particular uh, pH balance of urine and saliva. Now, here's a clue. Some people will say, oh yeah, we can do that. Well, I'm not saying that they're lying, but I will say that some people maybe just want you to come in and, and spend money with them. And in that case, here's a question you always ask. All right, uh, you do rooms? Oh yeah, we do rooms tests. Can I, can I uh, send in my samples? Oh yeah, well, that's okay, well, I'll get back to you. Polite way of saying I'm never coming to your, your particular place because your samples have to be used within 10 or 15 minutes. They're in the clinic or in the office. They have to be chemically processed right then and there. It's a long chemistry process. It takes an hour to do the test properly. And the person has to be trained well and has to know what they're doing. So then you get the information. Once you get the information, then you find out what nutrients are missing and what are being absorbed. Once you know that, then you know there may be other things that are happening to your body because if you're depleted from sleep or have sleep problems, 
you may have other things bothering you as well. So these are, are things that you need to, to be able to, uh, uh, to know and to bring that pH back into balance. And all of a sudden, when it's all in balance and you've got all the other behavioral problems straightened out, you're going to wake up with the greatest sleep you've ever had in your whole life. And uh, it's going to be very exciting for you. Well, that's what I have for sleep remedies. Anything else you can add? Anything you're... Uh, just from what I've heard, definitely try to work out during the day or get your heart rate going. That's I, I always sleep a lot better when I do. So Well, that, you know, his point is well taken because you are, are really forcing the body to expel a lot of... Uh, uh, materials that are harmful during the day. You, your uh, muscles are being stretched and all the lactic acid and various other things that accumulate are being forced to be removed from the body and the muscles are refreshed. So that has a whole lot to do with a good night's sleep. Thank you for uh, bringing that up. By the way, you don't have to hit the gym. It's now proven that if you walk 30 minutes three times a day vigorously or three times a week vigorously that you're uh, going to be in really good shape over a period of time. It's going to take a little longer than hitting the gym, but if you hit the gym for two hours a day, every day, you may be uh, cutting off some of the uh, uh, life at the other end of your life because you're burning up mitochondria. And if you're not feeding the mitochondria, that's a problem. So, Anyway, until next time, this is Jerry. And David. Now, we bring these videos to you every single day and have a lot of fun doing it. And oh, yeah. it's something we enjoy making sure it's there for you. And thank you for all the wonderful comments and for uh, letting us know what it is that you really want to know about. And uh, hit the like button if you liked it. And if you would uh, really... Uh, Maybe hit the subscribe button too. That'd be even even better. So be well. Be well. <laughs>